under the topic radius of curvature here we have a problem which says that find rho rho stands for the radius of curvature at the point t of the curve x equals this and y equals this now if we observe these equations we can observe that these two equations are given in parametric form so now we have to use the method of solving a parametric equation to find the radius of curvature now first of all we shall consider this equation which is x equals a multiplied with cos t plus t sin t now in order to find dy by dx first we have to find dx by dt that is we have to differentiate x with respect to the parameter t so what do we get so this will be equal to a multiplied with the differentiation of cos t is negative sin t plus now here we have the product of two parameters that is t and sin t so we should use uv method that is first we shall have u as it is and differentiate v which is the differentiation of sin t so it is cos t plus now we shall have v as it is and differentiate t so the differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 so here we will be having sin t and we can see that these two gets cancelled and we get dx by dt to be equal to a t because we are multiplying this a with this term so a t cos t in a similar way we shall consider this equation that is y equals a multiplied with sin t minus t cos t so now when we consider this we have to differentiate this y with respect to t so dy by dt will be equal to a multiplied with the differentiation of sin t is cos t minus now we have to use uv method here so first of all we shall have t as it is so t we shall have as it is and we shall differentiate cos t the differentiation of cos t is minus sin t so that minus gets multiplied with this minus and so it becomes plus sin t and then minus this minus okay uh, the differentiation of t is 1 and so we will be having cos t now this cos t and this cos t gets cancelled and we get dy by dt to be equal to now uh, this a will get multiplied with this and it will be at sin t so now using these two that is dx by dt and dy by dt we can easily find dy by dx that is we know that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt so if x and y are in parametric form then dy by dx is equals this now this will be equal to what is dy by dt here we have obtained it is at sin t so a t sin t divided by what is dx by dt we have got it here at cos t so it is at cos now this a and a gets cancelled t and t gets cancelled and what is sin t divided by cos t it is tan t so therefore dy by dx is equals tan t so we have obtained dy by dx now using this dy by dx we have to find d square y by dx square so let us do that now so d square y by dx square will be equal to we have to differentiate tan t with respect to x so if we differentiate tan we know that the differentiation of tan t is secant square t so it will be secant square t so by the formula of differentiation the differentiation of tan t is secant square t but actually we are differentiating with respect to x so we have to do the chain rule method that is we have to differentiate again this angle t so it will be dt by dx 
Now, what is this dt by dx? We can obtain it from here. We have dx by dt. So, dt by dx will be the reciprocal of this. So, it will be 1 by at cos t. So, when we substitute that, so we have the secant squared t multiplied with 1 by at cos t. Now, this will be further equal to secant squared t multiplied with what is 1 by cos t? It is secant t. By the trigonometric formula, 1 by cos t is secant t divided by at. So, therefore, we obtain this to be secant cube t divided by at. So, we have got d square y by dx square. Now, after we have got this, after obtaining this, we have to find the radius of curvature which is, which is given by the formula rho equals 1 plus dy by dx the whole square, the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square. Now, in this formula, let us substitute dy by dx and d squared y by dx square. And so, that will be equal to 1 plus what is dy by dx? We know that dy by dx is tan t. So, here we have the square. So, it will be tan square t. So, tan square t raised the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by what is d squared y by dx square? We have it here. So, it is secant cube t divided by a t. And so, further that will be equal to by the trigonometric formula, we know that 1 plus tan square t is secant square t. So, using that formula, we have secant square t raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by secant cube t divided by a t. Now, if you see the square term gets cancelled because it is 1 by 2, we have 3 by 2, where this 1 by 2 will be the square root of secant square t. So, it gets cancelled and so we have secant cube alone in the numerator. And so, we get secant cube t and then we can take the, we can put this in multiplication and the, the denominator of the denominator becomes the numerator. So, a t divided by secant cube t. So, these two gets cancelled and we observe that the value of rho is equal to a t. So, therefore, the radius of curvature is rho is equals a t. So, we have obtained the radius of curvature in this uh, problem. So, hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.